I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on calculus, curve sketching. We will try to understand what critical numbers are. The question here is find the sum of a and b so that f of x equals to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx has critical numbers x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. So a and b are unknowns. We need to find them and their sum is one of these four. Now when we say critical numbers are x equals to 1 and x equals to 3, what does that mean? It really means that derivative of the function is either 0 or the derivative of the function does not exist. That leads to critical numbers, right? So this leads to critical numbers. So let's find the derivative of the function given to us. It is, let's write down first, f of x is x cubed plus ax square plus bx. Derivative of this function is 2x, I mean sorry, 3x square plus 2ax plus b. So that becomes the derivative of the function. Now we are given that the critical numbers are x equals to 1 and x equals to 3. So that means that for x equals to 1 and x equals to 3, the derivative should be equal to 0. right? Since it is never undefined, it has to be 0. So that gives us two equations. So let's put x equals to 1 here. So for x equals to 1, f dash x equals to 0. So let's write down the equation, which is 0 equals to, substituting 1 here, we get 3 plus 2a plus b, All right? And uh, substituting x equals to 3, Again, we have the derivative equal to 0. We get the second equation, which is 0 equals 2. 3 square is 9. So, so let me write here 3 square plus 2a times 3 plus b, which is 27 plus 6a plus b. So this becomes our second equation. So we have equation number 1 here and equation number 2. Now to find the values of a and b, what we can do is we can just solve, uh, let's do equation 1, take away equation 2. So if I do equation 1, take away 2, I get 0 equals 2. If I take away from 3, 27, I get minus 24. From 2a, if I take away 6a, I get minus 4a, and b minus b is 0. So we get the value of 4a equals to minus 24, which gives us a as equal to minus 6. Now if a is 6, we can find what b is. So let's call this value a equals to 6 as our equation number 3. So if I substitute this in, in 1, so let's do it here. So we know a equals to minus 6. We'll substitute this in the equation, 0 equals to 3 plus 2a plus b. So we have 0 equals to 3 plus 2 times minus 6 plus b. So that gives you 0 equals to 3 minus 12 plus b, or b is equal to 9, right? So if b is 9, then this equation is true. So we get a equals to 6 and b equals to 9. What we need is sum of a and b. So we can write sum of a and b. That means a plus b equals to minus 6 plus 9, which gives us 3. 
So 3, option A, is the right option. Correct? So that is how we can actually solve such a question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.